In this chapter, we will learn about the requirements and procedures for installing and aligning your antenna. Before beginning antenna installation and alignment, it is important to fulfill the following requirements. First, the satellite terminal field installer must have solid knowledge and understanding in antenna installation covering assembly, alignment, peak, and pole, the TX and RX RF chain, the Windows operating system, IP configuration, and setup. The installer is required to have the following equipment, inclinometer, compass, laptop or desktop computer with Windows 98 and above, WinZip or WinRAR, and a COM port connection, voltmeter, basic tools that include flat, cross, and Helen screwdrivers, a wrench, and a wire cutter, extra cables for RF that include an RG6 cable, straight and cross Ethernet cables, and an RS-232 serial cable for router initial configuration. Optional but highly recommended additional and spare equipment to have on site. Spectrum Analyzer, BUC, LMB, Satellite Router. At this point, you will need to be able to refer to the SkyVision scheduling kit that was emailed to you. Attached, you will also find your specific option file. Confirm that all the necessary VSAT components are on site. Let's begin the steps for antenna installation and alignment. Assemble and anchor the antenna according to the manufacturer's instructions. Make sure your antenna is level by using a leveler. Make sure you have assembled the feed in the correct polarization position. Refer to the correct coordinates you calculated in the alignment and elevation step. Important! When aligning the azimuth, do not set the compass on a metal surface because of potential magnetic interference. To set the antenna's azimuth, use a compass as reference and adjust the antenna left or right horizontally. To set the antenna's elevation angle, use the inclinometer as reference and adjust the strut vertically. Please note that the elevation offset for offset antennas is determined by the antenna model. To find out your antenna's offset, please refer to the antenna user manual provided by the manufacturer. We will fine-tune the antenna alignment after we have connected and installed the iDirect satellite router. To calculate the inclinometer elevation angle, do the following. Position the inclinometer on the metal surface that attaches the antenna to the mount. You will need to take into account that the inclinometer will be positioned vertically at 90 degrees to the ground. With this in mind, it is important to understand the following example. If your true elevation is 50 degrees and your offset is 20 degrees, subtract your offset from your true elevation, which will give you the total value of 30 degrees. Now, subtract your new elevation value of 30 degrees from the inclinometer's starting value of 90 degrees. 60 degrees will be your desired inclinometer elevation angle. 